Hello class, this is section 2.2 and we will discuss the principle of superposition in this video. Let L be a linear operator so that L u equals 0 is a homogeneous equation. What the principle of superposition says is that if u1 and u2 are two solutions to this linear equation, then c1 u1 plus c2 u2 is a solution as well. So let's see how we can show this. So let's first look at our assumptions. We assumed that u equals u1 and u equals u2 are solutions to this linear equation. What this means is that L of u1 is equal to 0 and L of u2 is equal to 0. This is what it means to be a solution of this linear equation. Now we need to check. So our goal here is to check if c1 u1 plus c2 u2 is a solution. So go check if l c1 u1 plus c2 u2 equals 0. This is what it means to say that u1 c1 u1 plus c2 u2 is a solution. If you plug it in, you get 0. So let's see what how we do this. So let's look at l c1 u1 plus c2 u2. We know that L is linear, and what linear means is that it behaves nicely with respect to addition and constant multiplication. So it behaves nicely with respect to addition, so we can write down L c1 u1 plus L c2 u2. So remember c1 is a constant and u1 and u2 are functions. We can pull out the constant so C1 L U1 plus C2 L U2. However, since we know that L of U1 is 0 and L of U2 is 0, this implies that this is equal to C1 times 0 plus C2 times 0, which is of course equal to 0. We have shown that L C1 U1 plus C2 U2 is equal to 0, which implies that c1 u1 plus c2 u2 is a solution to lu equals 0. So indeed, if u1 and u2 are two functions that solve the linear equation that's homogeneous, then c1 u1 plus c2 u2 is a solution as well. Let's work through an example. Let's take the operator d2x is the operator that takes a function to its second derivative. So we take d2x, a function of f, and takes it to the second derivative. And it's linear. It's pretty easy to check that it, it is linear. We want to check superposition. So notice that for this equation, d squared x u equals 0, we have solutions u 1 equals 1, the constant function 1, and u 2 x equals x. You may plug it in. The second derivative of 1 is 0. The second derivative of x is also 0. So these are both solutions. So we have both d2x of u1 equals 0 and d2x of u2 equals 0. So by superposition, we should get d2x c1 u1 plus c2 u2 equals 0 as well. Let's check it. So u1 is 1 and c2 is x. So we have d2x c1 u1, so c1 times 1 plus c2 times x. This is equal to the second derivative of c1 plus c2x. If you differentiate c1 once, it's a constant, so you get 0. If you differentiate c2x once, you get c2. If you differentiate again, you get 0. 
So this just becomes 0 plus 0 equals 0. And this, Im this implies that superposition works for this case. Because we had u1 equals 1 and u2 equals x as a solution, we could see that c1 u1 for c2 u2 was also a solution.